texting is one of the best ways to attract women and get dates in today's age. But there are 13 texts that completely kill your chances with women. 13 texts that you should never, ever, ever send a girl that you're interested in. Note how I said girls that you're interested in, not girls that are interested in you, not girls that you're chasing and want to get them to notice you. In today's video, we'll discuss exactly what these texts are and how they ruin your chances with women. So sit tight, pay attention and watch till the very end because this video could be the difference between you being ghosted and you going out on dates with girls you like. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider information about what women really want, plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so that you never miss a video of mine. All right, let's get started. Here are the 13 texts you should never send a girl. Okay, number one, the good morning text. So many guys think that this is a sweet gesture and, and it is. They think that women are going to appreciate it, but trust me, it doesn't have that effect at all. I have to be honest and say that I find this message super annoying. It's just, it's too intimate and boyfriendy, and therefore it makes me cringe if I'm not totally into the guy, especially if I've just exchanged numbers with him recently. I don't know him intimately yet. It's as if he's trying to be my boyfriend already or something. The only time that this text works is when you're already in a relationship, and even then, I'd say it's not something you should send regularly. Every once in a while, yes, but not all the time. All right, number two, the triple text. So a lot of people out there say that the double text is the dangerous one, meaning when you text a girl and she doesn't reply and then you text her one time again afterwards. But in my opinion, double text, if not overdone, can be totally okay. Sometimes the girl might be busy or may forget to check all of her messages. In that case, a second text might actually get her to reply. But the triple text, that is a big, big mistake. Like do not do the triple text. If a girl has chosen to ignore or has missed two of your texts and you send a third one, that just screams I am way too needy. And if you follow my channel, you know how much I hate it when guys act needy because I know that they're thinking they're doing the right thing, but they're not. It comes across as needy. No good. Number three, the emoji overloaded text. So this is the one with too many emojis, like happy face, dancing person, snow cone, uh, any. Anyway, there's just, there's not much to say about it other than it's just too much. Add in tons of exclamation points and you've just basically zipped up my vagina. It's not opening back up for you. I know so many guys are trying to be playful with it, but it's just like a little bit too childish and a bit too much. Sure, use a good emoji if it fits the message and adds nuance to it, but if it's just used to show excitement and cuteness, it's no good. Plus, why would you ever want to use seven or eight emojis in a text? I don't, I really don't get it <laughs> at all. Anyways, just make sure to avoid this mistake. One thing I do love is the gift message. I just think gifts can say so much and if you don't overdo it, then it can be great. I didn't even know what gifts were until like a year ago, but now it's opened up my world and they're amazing. So I would use that instead of the overload of emoji emojis. Number four, the hey text. So many guys use these as an opening message and let me tell you, it is the worst opener you can ever use. Saying nothing is actually better than saying, hey, think about it for a second. If somebody came up to you at a party and said, hey, and just stood there staring at you, how would that make you feel? Well, that's exactly what, what we feel when a guy says, hey, Remember, this video is talking about messaging girls you are interested in, not girls who are interested in you. If a girl's interested in you, you can say hey all day long and she's gonna eat it up, but not if she's not interested yet. If you want to know the right way to start a conversation over text, just watch the video I made on it after you finish this. In that video, I reveal the perfect conversation opener, which has a 95% success rate on dating apps, so you don't have to say hey. And I'm gonna put a link in the description for you to check out later. All right, number five, closed-ended questions. Closed-ended questions are questions which elicit a short, often one more reply. For example, how was your day? What are you doing? Did you see that movie? Did you see my camera light just fall five seconds ago? All these questions can be answered in a word or two, and it doesn't invite a conversation. Plus, to be honest, it's pretty freaking boring, and most girls, unless they're super into you, would probably ignore it. Now, yes, sometimes you'll have to use a closed-ended question. You can't neglect it completely. You can't avoid it completely, but my tip is that you wanna try to avoid it as much as you can. All right, before I move on to the next one, 
a real quick request for you guys. If you're finding this video useful so far, please drop a like, please subscribe to my channel. That's gonna help me with releasing my videos to more people and get more people to see this. Plus, it'll totally make my day since I put a lot of effort and time into making these videos for you. Okay, let's get to the next one, number six, the essay text. This is the text where you just go on and on and on for paragraphs like you're writing a college essay. And let me tell you right now, no one likes to read an essay over text. No one likes to read an essay ever ever. So no girl is going to be excited to see that you wrote her a 2000 word thesis. It's going to bore her and more often than not, she's going to ignore it completely. Text messaging was never made for such long exchanges. Texting is meant to entertain, make plans, and get the hell off text so you can enjoy a person in real life, not to build attraction and exchange life stories and your theory on the quadratic equation. I'd say one to four lines is the perfect length. More than that, it's just way too long. It starts to enter the essay territory, at least in this context. So keep it short, light, and fun. Number seven, the dick pic. Look, what I'm about to say is on behalf of all women, so please listen carefully. The picture of your junk, it's not a pretty picture. It's never going to make us want to have sex with you. I'm not gonna look at a penis and say, ooh, I want to be with that right now. If you think that a woman might see your thing and suddenly say, oh my God, that's so hot. <laughs> Let me come over right now. You are delusional. It's never ever going to happen. In fact, women are going to be completely creeped out by you and may even block you for sending an unsolicited dick pic. The only time to send this picture to a woman is if she explicitly asks for it. Otherwise, consider it banned. Banned by the laws of texting. All right, number eight, the send nudes text. Just like the previous text, even this one will creep out most women. This makes us think that you're just like another horny guy who's craving to get in our pants and all you want is sex and nothing else matters to you, which of course isn't the best image to portray to a girl you like. If you just wanna have sex with her, then totally do that. But if you if you like her and you're interested, this is not the route to take. The only time you could even think of sending this text is if you're in a relationship or you've been on a couple of dates and have already slept together or you've established that this is your relationship, a relationship of casual, fun, sexting. Nothing wrong with a casual sexting relationship at all, but even then you have to nail the timing for a message like this. If you just like send it out of the blue, a woman would probably like not like it. You have to work towards it just like real sex. But if you're having some fun banter or maybe you're flirting and getting a little bit sexual over text, over text <laughs> then would be a great time for it. Other than that, you never ever send this text. Number nine, the ask out text. As the name suggests, this is the text where you literally ask a girl out. It's where you say something like, hey, will you grab a drink with me this Friday? Or are you free to grab a drink this Friday? Now, this obviously looks like a really nice and polite text. It seems like the right thing to do, but it isn't. Believe it or not, when you ask if we wanna go out with you, it makes you look kinda weak and not that confident. And, doesn't come across that great. It's not something a high value guy would do. Not if you want to excite us. A truly confident high value guy would make plans and invite us to join him. He'd say something like, hey, I want to take you out for drinks this Friday or let's go grab a few drinks this Friday or even what are you up to this Friday followed by one of the previous lines that I just mentioned. Do you see the difference between these texts and those first ones that I said? These demonstrate confidence and leadership and the previous ones show a lack of it. So stick to the invitations, not the question. Got it? Number 10, the indecisive text. Speaking of making plans and inviting a girl out, another big mistake guys make here is being indecisive. It goes something like this. A guy might tell a girl, let's go out for drinks this Friday. The girl replies, okay, where do you want to go? The guy says, I don't know. <laughs> where do you want to go? And she replies back, um, I don't know, I'm okay with any place as long as it's good. And the guy says, okay, do you know any good places? And I've seen this happen so many times and on and on and the conversation goes until she gets annoyed and cancels on him. And these types of indecisive texts are a huge turnoff for women. We want men to take the lead. We expect you to take charge, make plans, make decisions. If you act indecisive, 
it, it kills attraction or any potential for attraction. Suddenly, we're the leaders and we don't want that, especially if the goal is for us to be attracted to you. We immediately begin to see you as the weaker guy, a guy we're stronger than, and that's not very attractive. It may sound totally harsh and unfair to some guys, but this is just how it is. So if you want girls to want to date you, you have to step up, assume the role of leader, and be the decisive one. And that's both over text and in person. All right, number 12, the interrogation chain. This is when a guy will constantly badger the girl with interrogative questions like, where are you? Who are you with? When are you coming home? And so on and so forth. This is a huge mistake, especially if you're in the early dating stage or have just met. It shows the girl that you're too insecure, that you're just not comfortable with yourself. It shows that you're too worried about losing her. And in a way, you're almost trying to control her. This attitude will almost instantly make her start ignoring your texts or go cold on you. So for your own sake, skip the interrogation. If you're too afraid that a girl might lose interest in you or cheat on you, then either you're not ready to start dating or she's not the one to pursue. All right, number 13, the hopeless romantic text. So this is a text where the guy gets too attached to the girl way too fast. And it just, he just pours his heart out to her. He says things like, oh, Sarah, you're the most amazing woman I've ever met in my life. There's something so special about you. I hope to marry you one day. Like just, you know, piling it on. I want you to be the mother of my children and other stuff like that. Now, as you can probably guess, this, this backfires big time. If she's not reciprocating, and, and why does this backfire? Because women need to spend a good amount of time with you in person before we develop strong feelings for you. So if you get like super emotional all of a sudden, like it's a Hollywood movie and pour your heart out to her, it can actually scare us away. It's too much, too fast. In fact, you'll often see that it's after this confession of feelings that the girl gets cold. So don't be that guy who rushes too fast and pours his heart out in a text. Maybe you've seen girls respond to this amazingly well in movies or read about it in books, but in the real world, these types of texts hardly get the reaction that you want if, if she's not there yet. All right, so that completes our list of how not to text a girl. Now, if you're interested in knowing how you should text a girl, I have a very special resource for you. It's called the Banter Guide. And inside the Banter Guide, you're going to find a whole section on how to engage a girl over text and make sure she never ignores or ghosts you. It reveals easy step-by-step -step instructions for sparking chemistry with a girl over text. It also includes real life chat examples and field tested secrets for making her laugh and giggle over text. And I think you'll find the whole thing extremely useful, especially in today's age of online dating and texting. Plus, since there are many guys trying to attract women online, having this guide with you will give you a much needed upper hand. So go ahead and click the link in the description and check out the banter guide now. This guide is the only tool that can help you eliminate the possibility of being ghosted or ignored by women. And that's because you can't find anything like this anywhere else. What's more, the banter guide also comes with a fantastic bonus called the conversation sniper. And in that, you'll get 100 witty lines that you can copy paste and use in any conversation you want. I've got a bunch of playful questions, teasing one-liners, innuendos, challenging setups, topic transition lines, and so much more. It's all done for you in there. You simply pick a line which suits the context of your conversation, you plug it in. <laughs> At most, you'll have to change a few words in the line and that's it, but you get where I'm going. Otherwise, it's ready to go. No need for you to think of anything, no need for you to go online, and the best type of text to send a woman. So don't wait, click the link in the description and check out the banter guide along with the conversation sniper. It's really actually very cool stuff and you have no idea how big an advantage it'll give you when texting women. <sighs> All right then, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I will see you again next week, but make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you do not miss the next video. See you next week.